Yvette Barnes, and I'm your host for this show tonight, and I'm also from LEAD. I do have a guest from LEAD tonight, but uh, before we talk to our guest, I want to say that March is Women's History Month, and around the world we celebrate the accomplishment or the accomplishments of women uh, and their uh, things that they have done uh, throughout uh, uh, the century. I think uh, women's history has been uh, started more than a hundred years ago. Tonight sitting with me, our guest, is a woman that we'd like to celebrate uh, as a woman of accomplished talents that uh, we'd like to showcase in the month of March. Our guest is also a member of LEAD. Her name is Ms. Val Robinson. Welcome, Ms. Robinson. Thank you. Now, Ms. Robinson uh, is a kindred spirit who actually has uh, a dream. She also has a dream that has become a Her hobby has become an ordination, an ordination from God, who has led her to do things to give back some of the talents that he has given her. And we're going to let her talk about her talents and display some of the things that have come about as her hobby. Now, Ms. Robinson, how are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm doing great. And I know I've said a mouthful about you. Is there anything else you'd like people to know about you before you start talking about your dreams and your accomplishments and your inspiration? Well, um, not really. Well, no, we know that, first of all, you're a lovely lady. Thank you. And we know that uh, this atmosphere in here tonight is just filled with love because uh, we do believe that you are a kindred spirit. Thank now, can you. you tell us about your dream for the things that you're about to display that are your talents? Yes. Um, my uh, dream was um, I started my uh, blankets and they started out as hobbies mm -hmm. and one day sitting at home the Lord came to my heart and he said make these and give them away mm -hmm. so I started the blankets and first you know I thought I can't do this um, I'm too shy and so I had people like oh Val I love those I'm like, okay, so i make you one. And so I started from there, and then after um, I got them started, I started taking them to the dialysis patients. And each blanket that I did say, okay, Lord, put your love on this. Mm -hmm. So he put his love on them, and so far no one saw me yet. <laughs> No one has seen the lady that is spreading all that love. So no. you right now are just making blankets and what inspires you? Uh, well, what is the real purpose of the blankets then would be what? Oh, to let each person that get a blanket to know that someone loves them and that somebody's there for them. You know, so it's kind of like from me, I'm just a tool, and the Lord is saying, okay, I'm here. I love you, and this is what they're getting. So I'm just a tool, okay. and everything that I've done is, is for the Lord. So that's how I'm supposed to. All right. Well, in spreading the love, I know that uh, in order to get started with that, you had to have somebody to, you know, just channel some inspiration uh, as a child. You just didn't hop up and start doing no. this as, as an adult. No. Yeah. My grandmother, she would make quilts and sometimes she would have like little pillows with the little lace around it or just something that she put together. So she started me with that. She would say, girl, you can put some pretty colors together. Mm -hmm. And when I started the blankets, then I saw what she was talking about. Because when looking at the yarn, and you would think, oh, I love that. I wonder what they would look like together. 
And so I would buy the yarn and put it together and there you are. Okay then. Well, you know, uh, I know grandmother, is she still with you? No. Okay, well she's smiling at you saying you did good. Because see, we're looking at some items that uh, you have put colors together and, and made. Um, can you tell me show this one? Yes. Can you tell me, uh, you know, about uh, the colors for you know that pretty afghan? This one, mm -hmm. I was looking at something on the African Channel, and they was showing one of their flags, mm -hmm. and so I thought, okay, I wonder what would they look like, and so this is what it came out to. Oh, that's a beautiful piece, Miss Robinson. Wow. How long does it take you to make a, a piece? It depends on how I work on it. Sometimes it may take two weeks or it may take a little bit longer. It just depends on how, you know, hard I work on it, but yeah. Well, let's talk about the inspiration. Now, a piece like this, just to get the colors to put them together, you know, is one thing. Mm -hmm. But you'd have to be inspired by something or somebody to want to make it to give away or something or how do you come about uh, you know just choosing where they're going once uh, you know God says it's time for you to do that for me. To give it. Okay um, sometime I might be listening to something on the TV or somebody might say well um, my friend have cancer and I think oh I need to make a blanket. And then I might go to a store and I'm like, oh, I like that yarn, I'm gonna buy that. Mm -hmm. And then um, when I finish, I'm like, can you get this to so-and-so for me? And they were like, oh, thank you. I'm like, oh no, thank you for accepting it. Mm -hmm. You're my blessing because you're accepting this. Absolutely, and see, uh, I'm a firm believer in the blessing you know, being the actual giver. Yes. Because see, the more you give, the more God gives back to you. Yes. Yeah. That's true. Absolutely. That's true. Yeah. Well, this is a beautiful piece. Now, how would uh, you? I'm sorry, I'm not putting it back the way that it was. So you just okay. forgive me. Uh, I didn't defile it. Okay. How would uh, you, you know, want to? Uh, get the message to people that uh, actually are watching this telecast and may say, oh, I would like for you know, her to do something special for a loved one mm -hmm. because this loved one has a special condition or this loved one may need to be uplifted. So uh, if somebody watching wanted uh, to say, well, I would like Miss Robinson to you know, just kind of make thing to mm -hmm. help uplift uh, one of my family members. How would they you know, get some information to you? Well, if um, someone would like to send like a, a note or maybe a message, they can reach me at my P.O. box. Okay, and I see that uh, that P.O. box uh, is P.O. box 1433 in West Memphis at 72303. Yes, that's correct. Okay, uh, we also have a uh, two web addresses that we'd like them to have, if you don't mind also. Yes, ma'am, that's Since fine. you are a member of LEAD, LEAD always has uh, an opportunity to have people send uh, to our website. Yes. We have two that we utilize. One is lead.org at gmail.com. Okay. The other one is, why, why, I don't know why, 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 V-E-T, Four eight zero eight six seven at AO.com. And we're going to repeat this again so okay. that anybody that wants to email us in reference to a desire to have One you do one. something special okay. for them, you know, just contact you. Yes. Okay. Because um, in um, reading something that uh, you had slipped me, I do see uh, a note that says you'd like for, you know, your good deeds to not only be your good deeds, you'd yes. um, appreciate anybody, you know, just venturing out, stepping outside of their comfort zone and, and helping yes. you out. Do you want to just uh, talk about that a little bit? Yes. Um, if anyone would like to make a donation or uh, maybe like some yarn or something, that would help me so much, you know, to 
get the, uh, the blankets where they need to. And I would love to get these around the world to anybody that is down or maybe sick or maybe even if they have a family member that's not feeling good and mm -hmm. they think they may need to be lifted up mm -hmm. and like, okay, Val, oh, I saw this girl on TV. Let me send her a note and an uh, address and maybe a donation and it will help me get this back to that person. Okay. Well, that's a wonderful thing. Have you ever thought about other people around the world? See, you being our local hero and our local showcase for talents mm -hmm. for Women's History Month. Yes. What if somebody watching wanted to help you in making some of your items? Oh, that would be a blessing. You know, if someone would like to make something and uh, they say, okay, Val, I'm making something for somebody and you want me to send it to you, they can, you know, or maybe they can send it to the person that they want to, you know, have it. That would help too because that would help us get this around the world. You know, wouldn't a chain of reactions just be something that, uh, you know, uh, God would look and smile and look and we would smile back and say, thank you, Lord, for allowing us to do this. To do this? Yes. Absolutely. A chain reaction, and just in my opinion, means that somebody listening steps outside of their box and says, if I don't know how to crochet, I'm going to learn. Yes. And I want uh, to do this because I want to help to uplift somebody the spirits else. of somebody yes. else. Because, see, uh, in my opinion also, uh, our purpose for being here is you know, loving each other. Yes, and, and uh, to lift that person up. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be easy because when I first started, I thought, oh, my goodness, I'm getting pushed out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And... Um, when you see the person face when they accept that blanket mm -hmm. and then they look on the inside and see the our daily bread. Okay, so you are giving and uh, a Bible a, verse. an extra treat and a Bible verse. Mm -hmm. Great. All right. Yeah. Okay. And so that would give them something to, you know, to read and, you know, to think about. Okay. Well, how, how do you deliver them? Let's just say there is... Um, a person that inspired you to make, uh, you know, something for them. And if you personally delivered, uh, how would uh, you package and take it and so forth? I have a little lady mm -hmm. that made some bags for me. Mm -hmm. And I would fold the blanket up and stick it in the bag and they would get the blanket, the bag, and our daily bread. Oh, that's a mighty pretty bag. Isn't it? Yes, it is. And the lady that made that, you tell her I want uh, one also. Uh, that sure looks like something I should be carrying every day. I sure will. Okay, then. Yeah. I sure will. Now that is so nice. So they get uh, the two treats in one. They get mm -hmm. a bag. Yeah. And a blanket. And a blanket. And, and our daily bread. Okay. All righty, Miss Robinson. When it comes to your inspirations. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me uh, whether you've had any that were uh, local? That yes. Yes, you have? Yes. Okay. And, and can you tell me uh, how you met them or how you knew that uh, you just needed to do something for them? Or um, Let's see. It was a young boy I saw on TV. Mm -hmm. And just them talking about that he had cancer. And I thought to myself, I'm going to make a blanket. Mm -hmm. And so he had on this jersey. And I found the colors of yarn with the jersey uh, color. And I made this blanket out of that. So um, one of my coworkers is going to deliver that one for me. Okay. And um, a little baby that's in St. Jude. Um, I made a powdered yellow one for the baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, one of my coworkers, she was going through some things, and so I, she liked rainbows. So I had made this. She said, oh, Val, I like those colors. You know I like rainbows. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, so this is yours. Mm 
Mm -hmm. And she said, no, I'm not, no girlfriend, this is yours. So she took and then she gave me a hug. Okay. Now, so. isn't that satisfaction? It is. Yes. Yes, it is. But you still would like donations, though, from anybody that could help with uh, your yarn and, mm -hmm. and supplies that you're needing to, yes. you know, just sitting. And, uh, you know, just from uh, the previous conversation mm -hmm. uh, just a few moments ago, you know, people stepping outside of their comfort zones wanting to, you know, just help out and making, you know, maybe you could just uh, create your own club. Because, see, oh, that for be us nice. that don't crochet mm -hmm. and want to learn to crochet, mm -hmm. uh, would you be willing to do something like that? But they don't exactly have to crochet. They can do quilts, mm -hmm. you know, sewing machine. Mm -hmm. um, anything that they think that somebody would like, make it, mm -hmm. you know. Um, after you make it, you if you want to put a Bible verse in there, okay, mm -hmm. make it and give it to them. You mm -hmm. never know how, what type of day they've had. That's absolutely Or what they're going through. Absolutely. So, yeah, make okay. it. So, you know, anything that um, we consider something that is uh, uplifting, we, uh, if we have that talent to do it, just do it. Just do it. Uh, just uh, without, you know, just coming to Ms. Robinson saying, hey, teach me to do what you did. Yes. Do what, what uh, we do. Ever. Use that talent God gave us. Whatever and, gift God gave you, use it. Yeah. And I guess uh, what we're saying then, the whole principle is to make certain that we're looking at the golden rule and doing things you know, that God already has ordered. Yes. And doing uh, things that are pleasing, of course, and just giving back. Right. Okay. Um, I heard somebody was saying that um, mm -hmm. if you're not doing what the Lord told you to do, you're not helping anybody. So stop being lazy, do what they want you to do, for you can reach the person that's supposed to be having your gift. All right. Well, I can tell you that, you know, all gifts come from above. Yes, they do. And as long as, you know, we do what we're supposed to do, like you say, yes. then uh, we don't have to worry about whether we're going to reap them because they will come. They will come back. All right. Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, Miss Robinson, is there anything else uh, you'd like uh, to uh, add? I mean, I know that just giving these away is a way to you know just kind of show your love and uh, to uplift the spirits and so forth, and you being the brighter spirit for lead, you know, we don't expect any less from you because you are a bright spirit. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, is there any other way you'd like, uh, you know, your work to ever be displayed? Mm. No, I, you know, I think long as the person that's getting it, um, you know, it don't have to be displayed. Long as they are enjoying what I have given them, that's mm -hmm. fine. Okay. Ever thought about any fundraising or anything like that? Yes. Okay. I would love to um, be able, you know, to raise um, some, you know, funds or money to maybe help, you know, maybe some of the elderly people or maybe, you know, feed the hungry and um, maybe somebody that can't pay maybe like a bill or something like that, you know, be mm -hmm. able to help them with that. Now that's a wonderful thought. Now, you know, Lee does sponsor a senior citizens event uh, every year. Okay. You know, maybe uh, in our ventures to set that up, uh, we can run off to one of the seniors just to give it to them because you see, yes. uh, everybody, you know, loves a gift. And, you know, we always you know, give our seniors something. Yes. So if you would like to you know, just kind of put one of yours in a raffle. Oh, that would be for, fine. Yeah, for the seniors, we definitely can do that. I love that blanket. Can you open that one up? Yes. I know we're just messing up the table. Oh, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. But that is so soft. And it looks like something that I need on my bed just to cuddle with and wrap up. Somebody told me they look like uh, Easter eggs. Easter eggs? Yes. Well, Easter's coming up. Now, this is a beautiful thing, and whoever received this, now, I can feel the love. It is so soft, cuddly, beautiful. I tell you, 
It's a wonderful thing. What? Don't you. laugh. I'm not going to take it off the table, but it's a wonderful <laughs> thing. Now, fundraising, have um, you thought about for you know, those causes that you mentioned, mm -hmm. maybe setting up a, a fundraiser coming up but sometimes you know, this summer or this fall to you know, just kind of help those causes for you know, uh, the seniors and for you know, people that are less fortunate in any capacity that uh, you'd want to you know, just donate to? Well, not really because I hadn't had a chance to sit down and think about it. Mm -hmm. But um, I think Lee is having something, a yes. fundraiser, right? We intend to, but okay. we'd like to uh, just kind of raffle one of your blankets. Now, I don't know whether you're going to say so or not, but I would love to do that. And anybody that's watching probably know that your handiwork is something that would uh, you know, just gain pretty decent. Mm -hmm you know, attention yeah. you know, from the public if we wanted to do that. Oh, that'll be great. Yeah, and I'm going to just say, you know, LEAD, everybody knows, uh, is an organization that uh, supports elderly children, you know, the schools, yes. you name it. We do things that actually will, you know, help with those causes, you know, where, you know, there is cultivation needed. Yes. So anything that uh, we can do to help to boost the spirits. Here I go with the spirits again. Yes. And, and you know, build bigger minds. You know, we do that. So uh, in one of the fundraising events, we may, you know, just want to use something, something that, like that, that you've done. Since you, you're one of our own. Yes. Okay, and we appreciate you. Now, again, just in case uh, you didn't get Val's contact information early on. Her post office box is post office box 1433 in West Memphis, West Memphis, Arkansas, 72303. If uh, you're needing to send her a note in reference to making something for anybody yes. that needs to have their spirits lifted, she is willing to you know, just take your request all that uh, she requires, and sometimes she doesn't even require this, but uh, we think that is, uh, you know, an honorable thing to at least send her a donation for, you know, at least sending the piece that, uh, you know, she makes per your request, you know, just a small nominal fee. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. we'll help with the uh, shipping and handling. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, because uh, that way, um, they can get it and you know say well she didn't mm -hmm. and I'm like um, okay you're gonna get it you're gonna get it. just you know give mm -hmm. me time to get them made and mm -hmm. uh, you get it okay and uh, that web address also is lead dot org at gmail dot com or y y v e t Four eight zero eight six seven at aol dot com. Now, Lead also has a website that is a under development at this particular time, but it should be up and running within the next uh, few months. We're looking forward to it, and it uh, is follow our lead dot org. F o l l o w o u r l e a d without spaces. Dot org. Okay, Ms. Robinson, is there anything else you'd uh, like uh, to say to you know, your audience now that you've captivated everybody's attention? I would like to say thank you for um, having me. Oh, you know, that's my pleasure. And for each person that is wanting to have a blanket, I want to tell them thank you for accepting this. Um, to let you know that this is a gift from God and once again I'm just a tool that he's using to get to you. Oh Miss Robinson every time you say that it's almost as if chills just run up. We know the truth when we hear the truth and I do believe that you are his vessel. The I'm tool. trying my best to get them where they need to be. 
And uh, I actually have a vision that you're going to be bigger one day. And uh, just say that, you know, you will show first. And I will tell you that uh, if uh, the Lord allows me to live, I will want to be somewhere in the midst just watching you grow. Oh, you're going to be with me. Oh, I am. Yes, okay, you are. Then. You you're said so. Me. All right, then. Well, I am um, going to say thank you to the listening and viewing audience also. Lead is uh, the previous name of this show. It is now the Maurice Blair Show. Tune in again, and we do thank you very much for you know, watching. And remember the motto of LEAD. We are building bigger minds, brighter spirits, and better bodies. This is your host, Yvette Barnes.